Here's how Texas my parents are. For Christmas this past year, they bought each other guns. <laughs> Christmas guns. I honestly think it was a good thing. I, um, I, think, I think it's a sign that they still deeply love each other. <laughs> Because I just don't think you buy your partner a gun unless you're really sure things are going to end up well. <laughs> I don't want to get into the politics of guns. Uh, I think we can all agree, though, that uh, if you do decide to introduce firearms into your relationship, <laughs> you should both get one. <laughs> because a marriage where only one person has a gun is really just a hostage situation. <laughs> and a true marriage is a union between two equally armed people <laughs> locked in a cold war for all eternity. My wife and I were very old fashioned, uh, no guns. It's just hand to hand combat and the silent treatment. <laughs> Actually, last time I was down in Texas, I saw a guy with a t shirt that said, If Jesus had a gun, he'd still be alive. <laughs> I know. I was like, Buddy, you didn't finish that story, did you? <laughs> Surprise ending. <laughs> then I was like, well, how does this guy imagine it would have gone down if Jesus did have a gun? <laughs> like they come to arrest him and take him to the cross and he's just like, not today, Satan. <laughs> You come at the King of Kings, you best not miss. <laughs> now start saying your prayers, because you're about to meet my dad. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> hey, it's me, Jeremy, the guy from the clip you just watched. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not watch my whole special on Drybar Comedy Plus? Do it now. It's great, I promise.